Divorce after 30 years of marriage. What's going on guys, Shaq Reacts here once again, and today we see some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Like always, your favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty ridiculous. Basically, we have a woman over here who is confused as to why she is still single. I woke up and I look at my phone. I don't have any messages. I've just realized I'm 28. I'm going to be 29 in April next year, so not that long left. Not that long left. I'm going to be 29 years old and there is not a single soul on this planet who wants to be the love of my life. Where the f are you, please? Where are you? Because I am sick of this. I'm sick of the streets. I'm sick of everything. At this point, I might just, I don't know, maybe change sides. What's going on, please? Now, I don't know if you guys heard the last part of what she said. She said she is sick of the streets. So you're telling me you wasted a bunch of your time hanging around in the streets and now you want a good loyal guy to pretty much fix your problem? You can't turn a 304 into a housewife. It's pretty much common knowledge now. And sorry to break it to you, but why would a man ever settle for a woman who was just like that and had that kind of past when he can go for someone younger and more pure? If I'm in my prime, right? Why would I want a woman that's on, on her decline? Okay. Decline? Yes. Once a woman passes 30 years old, she is steadily declining. Oh Let's just God, be all the way 1,000 here. From a biological standpoint, from a practical it's standpoint, true. she is declining. As men age, we get better with time. Men age like wine, women age like milk. Let's keep it all the way 1,000. Now, I know this may seem a bit harsh, but it's very true. Women have a built-in biological clock. Unlike men, we do not. We can have kids at any time at any age. However, older women will pull up online at 50 years old saying they are super happy with no kids. But the reality is they just can't have kids. There's some crazy research for you. So a third of men, 33%, a little over a third, of men between the ages of 18 and 29 are not only single, but they're not actively looking for a partner. The same study said that by the year 2030, that 45% of women between the ages of 20 and 45 will be single. So I've got a question for the men because I see it all the time in my comments. Most of my comments are filled with guys saying we're done. We don't, we're not looking, we like our peace. I need some more talk from you guys. Tell me why you're done. Tell me why you don't want to have a partner in life. Tell me why it's more worth it to be single than to have a partner. Now, the simple reason is the chances of having a successful marriage is 50%. Why would a man ever risk everything he's ever earned in his life and gamble on a 50% chance that it might work out when it might not? Not only that, women are pretty much encouraged and rewarded to divorce their husbands because they benefit from it, while a man has everything to lose and a woman has everything to gain. In today's society, it makes no sense for a man to get married. So oh, let's, yeah. let's keep it real. For the average person who is mm -hmm. making $50,000, that's a mm -hmm. good person what does dating look like for them so if you're making fifty thousand dollars don't date oh i'm i'm just being for real you're not ready to date now this woman's absolutely stupid and has no idea what's the average salary in america she definitely thinks it's around 80 to 100 thousand when in reality it's about fifty thousand. and if everybody actually took this woman's advice people wouldn't be getting together and nobody would be having any kids ideal age range in a guy 22 23 what's your ideal race in a guy one. No preference. Black, white, Asian, Indian, alien. Okay, cool. And what's the minimum height that they should be? I don't know. Like, I like tall guys. Tall guys? So what's like the lowest? Six is the lowest? Okay, and how tall do you think I am? By the eight. And what's the minimum income a guy should make in a year? I don't know. Like, 40k? Wow, you're really... That's, that's humble. Alright, based off of your answers, the probability that you're going to find true love is 5.0%. That seems bad. It says your delusional score is um, a 3 out of 5 aspiring cat lady. I, I mean... I did, it's not me. I would rather be a dog lady, but... I think I thought that was, like, pretty, like... Yeah, me too. Accepting. Do you have a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. mm, well... Um. 5% chance you'll have I'm one soon. I'm not gonna get one, so. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Her standards and expectations seem pretty realistic. Other than the six foot thing and the guy being 22, I still think this girl has a better head on her shoulders than majority of women. It don't matter. No, I heard it doesn't. It doesn't matter because it's a stereotype where boys can have a very high body count, but girls have to be below 10, and that's retarded. You've heard about the, about the key and the lock, right? If one key can open many locks, it's a master key, as opposed to if a lock is opened by many keys, it's a shitty lock. That's what I'm saying. Hey. But why can guys have any girl they want to and doesn't matter? Do you care about if a guy has a high body count? 
No. Do you care about if a woman has a higher body count? Yes, only because the woman decides whether she wants to have sex or not. The guy only gets to have sex who he's allowed to have sex with. Girls have the same wants and needs. Is that not, is that not true? What's a high body count to you, Bash? I'm not talking about I'm not talking about numbers. I'm just saying guys can have sex with who they're allowed to have sex with. So do we girls have sex with who they wanna have sex with. Is that is that, is that not true? Come That's on. not true. Now, don't you guys see a trend here that when a woman has a promiscuous past, she usually doesn't like this question at all. However, when a woman has a very low body count, they are more than happy to say that yes, body count matters. So pretty much promiscuous women are telling on themselves with this question. And it's super obvious to see which ones really have a high body count and which ones don't. What's making you unworthy to men because you don't sound like you're getting respected either? You can definitely say that it's your fault that you do that you're never going to get a husband, so... Well, I one, I never said that I wanted a husband. I'm single by choice. Right. That by being a respectable woman, I'm doing nothing to gain respect from men. By having a normal what occupation and job that I'm not woman. doing anything to gain respect? Well, your definition of normal is, like, totally your own definition. Is it know? my own or is it the rest of the world also? And you're the minority of women that thinks the opposite. It's just your opinion, babe. I think um, that's wrong. Keep going. Yeah, I think... The rest of the world definitely thinks that women that have normal jobs that don't sell their body online are respectable. Did you so. personally take a poll with the rest of the world? Mm, I, I, I don't way. need to. I think they did. <laughs> there was a poll and the poll unanimously stated that can't turn Entirely. Now, I'm not sure which world this OnlyFans girl is living in, but majority of people unanimously agree that a woman who does OnlyFans is definitely not wifey material. She can be as delusional as she wants to be, she can keep telling herself that she still has value. But the simple answer is, if you wouldn't be proud of showing what you do for a living to your family and friends, why would a man be proud having you next to him? It just doesn't make sense. Every Sunday, there's stuff like this on Instagram, right? Baby daddy, Joe Burrow so hot, oh my god, have my children. But there's a very interesting thing about Joe Burrow. He has a girlfriend. A lot of people are actually surprised to learn that because they follow him on Instagram. The only thing on Joe Burrow's Instagram is pictures of himself, maybe a picture of his friend or two. But if you go over to his long-term girlfriend's Instagram, she's posting him left and right. Now, why is this interesting to me? Well, let's go back to Alex Earl and Tyler Wade's drama. Tyler Wade never posted Alex Earl on his Instagram, and everybody was like, yes, that's so messed up. How dare he not do that? Now, will people suddenly care about this? No. And that's because Joe Burrow has his own set of rules. So the reason this guy is pretty much able to do this is because he is the top 1% of men. And of course, his girl is going to be more than happy to show him off because, well, he is wanted by other women, and women love having something that is wanted by other women. This guy makes his own rules, and he understands that he doesn't have to post his girl and if a girl doesn't like that she can just leave and he'll just find another one to replace her it's really that simple for these men so why why did you pop your balloon well it was the fit okay. and the glasses the uh, i can't see <laughs> why you pop your balloon i'm not gonna lie i like nerds i like the glasses you ain't got the balloon though I, I know, I know, I know. I just feel like you're really close to my height. I could, you Man, can switch. Wait, no, how tall are you? 5'2". I'm 5'9 and a half, though. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why people hop on these shows and then when they get a bad answer, they try defending themselves. In my opinion, if you get rejected, just move on. Don't try to defend yourself and prove yourself worthy to these women. They're not deserving of it. First speak, please. At the end of the day, it's important to have a man in your life. It's really important because of the simple fact that just seeing my son raised without like a father, it hurts. It really does. And you know what? I'm happy for you because it's like when you have that situation, you realize that it's like, this is my man. I'm going to worship him. And this is the family. I'm going to create when I'm a grandma and I have the whole entire room filled with my grandchildren that is your real value now don't get me wrong this clip is definitely super sad to watch however this is usually the cycle that majority of women have to go through in order to realize their mistake it really took this woman to be a single mother in order to realize yo I actually messed up in my life however when you tell this to a woman who is single and no kids she brushes this advice off and doesn't realize how much it matters I'm pretty close for she's making close to forty thousand dollars a year but what are you laughing at What? 
Once again, only fan girls be saying the most stupidest things ever. We really shouldn't be taking their opinion or advice to anything. I'm not surprised anymore how she thinks the average salary is 100k. She made a stupid enough choice to do OnlyFans, so of course she needs to say something else that's also stupid. Divorce after 30 years of marriage. Now here she is trying to act like she made the right decision. But let's all be honest here, this woman at 50 years old trying to show herself off on TikTok, making it seem like she still is wanted by other men. The real reality is these men that are swiping up to her on TikTok and Instagram definitely don't want to marry her and only see her as a little good time. How do you fumble a 30-year marriage just to go back on social media and re-advertise yourself? The grass is definitely not greener on the other side, especially at this age. But that does wrap it up for the guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click the links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.